Welcome to another Precision Fire Repairs video. This one is a triple header of product, demo, and work recap. I had a fortunate run of engines to work on lately that happened to all turn out to be Gilbert diesels. In fact, all Alco PAs, a 466 Comet, which is shown here, a 474 rocket along with its 475 dummy with diesel horn, and a three engine set with the 493 dummy PA, 491 sound equipped B unit with diesel roar and diesel horn, and the 490. Now the 490 is a dual motor, so both of those trucks are powered. And the 474 Rocket is also dual motor, so both trucks are powered. But the Comet, the 466, is a single motor PA with just the front truck powered. Now each one of these were not running when I got them and they required different degrees and kinds of work to get renewed. The Comet was interesting in that for some reason the drive gears on several of the four, well in this case two, drive axles were severely off center. And I have a feeling that someone may have been in there and did some work prior to me but those got recentered and uh, I noticed that the brushes were worn pretty badly and actually asymmetrically so the uh, motor clearly had to be disassembled, and it was. And uh, those brushes replaced with new ones, as well as then in the process, I noticed that one of the armature bearings was rather sloppy. And so that worm gear was removed from that end of the armature and the armature bearing replaced. But you don't just swap out one armature bearing. When one is worn, you do them in pairs, kind of like tires on your car or brake pads on your car, you're, you're going to do them in pairs. So the other worm gear was taken off and that armature bearing also replaced. The uh, reverse unit just needed to be disassembled, uh, fingers polished, the drum polished and that kind of thing so that it activates reliably at around 10 volts. And um, she's working rather well after a thorough degreasing and fresh lubrication of course. Now the 474 was almost the opposite of uh, the Comet in that in this case uh, the motors did not need to be disassembled. The brushes were solid and uh, well intact, uh, not surprisingly worn much at all and the armature bearings didn't demonstrate any play. The drive gears were centered um, but it did need both motors degreased which I'm able to do without having to completely disassemble the motor and uh, fresh lubrication applied in the form of light and medium oils and uh, a good multi-purpose lithium grease. What was interesting though is its uh, reverse unit had both the upper and bottom fingers worn through so that was disassembled and both sets of the reverse unit fingers replaced. Um, and uh, it's working rather well now too. Now one of the interesting things about these of course being the old Gilbert diesels is that the axle holes in the trucks can wear out and it's one of the critical parameters that I look at carefully when repairing any one of these diesels and in both the case of the Rocket and the Comet while there are some signs of axle hole wear it's not to the point of being out of spec or non-functional and requiring bushing. Uh, so both of these can live on to see another good period of running. Uh, eventually they all do need rebushing because the material that those trucks were made out of is actually quite soft. But these can uh, keep pressing on with the way they are. They cruise at as little as six and a half volts 
um, forward and reverse. Uh, they can run for you know 30, 40 minutes and the motors just be warm. They're not so hot, you can't touch them, that kind of thing. So, uh, whereas inevitably, as with any uh, Gilbert diesel, they're going to someday need their power trucks bushed. Uh, these are really not quite there yet. Now, the 490, that one is interesting. That one revived rather well with uh, thorough degreasing and uh, fresh lubrication. Uh, it was running pretty well, but it's what I would call borderline or marginal on the fence, needing bushing. And so I conferred with the customer about it, and he's very much looking forward to this being as much like new from the 50s or even better if that's possible. So he approved getting the um, two power trucks bushed and uh, you do them in pairs also. You wouldn't just do one or the other, the front or the back. So they were uh, bushed and um, rebuilt and now arguably better than new. Um, certainly now to last for a while if they are properly maintained with the right kind and right frequency of lubrication. Um, it runs well now, certainly quietly, and um, stays uh, arguably the coolest of the three after um, a good period of running, as one would expect. The um, 491, with its diesel roar and horn, uh, required a sound system overhaul and you can learn a lot more about what goes into that in my three-part series on American Flyer diesel sound systems diesel roar and diesel horn uh, look for a three-part video that shows what this looks like um, with the shell off uh, it started off inoperable and now is revived and you'll hear it here it uh, definitely is a uh, a loud roar and a great horn once again and the 493 just required a good cleaning and polishing of the wheels and those simple straightforward things a uh, little cosmetics with a roof horn and a steam generator square vent in the back that kind of thing um, but uh, what I'd like to do is demonstrate these for you now it's interesting how they presented a variety of different issues but when resolved uh, it's a lot of fun to have Gilbert diesels running on your layout. I'm going to start up the Comet and the Rocket by playing back a recording I have on my um, legacy system. So you ought to see, there we go, and there goes the Comet, nearly along its way. And uh, one thing I'll show you is that these are all going to be operating at less than 12 volts. And you can see there we've got the uh, Comet running at something around 10 volts. It's reversing at 9.5 or 10. So when they're in good tune, they actually cruise along quite well at not a whole lot of voltage requirement. Here we have the uh, rocket. The two is progressing nicely at somewhere between 10 and 12 volts. That's a nice, quiet operating, smooth running diesel. You can see here it's making its way around pretty soundly with about 11 volts and uh, reversing reliably as well. And uh, now we're going to pair up with each other because they're buddies and get going on their own. And uh, while they're running, now what I'll do is uh, Hit the uh, 490, 491, 493 on the innermost loop. Start it up so you can hear and see that trio in action.
So hopefully you've enjoyed as much as I have seeing a few of these AC Gilbert classic post-war Alco PA engines back into good running order. And a little bit about some of the things that can need to be addressed with them many times similar and often even just across three rather different. In the meantime before we meet again, be well and have fun running your trunk.